I'm your host, Noah Tile, and welcome to a series of interviews we're doing with the Changemakers for Amuna. Hello, everybody watching this as part of Changemakers uh, for the Amuna organization. Amuna is one of the largest social service agencies in Israel. It provides care for approximately 10,000 people on a daily basis. From infants to seniors, Amuna improves the lives of Israel's most vulnerable. A change maker is someone who makes a beneficial impact on the world around them. Their actions help support vulnerable people, bring families together, ensure businesses survive, and change lives for the better. This year's Amuna dinner, the Toronto annual dinner, will be a virtual event where we will be celebrating the incredible change makers who have positively impacted our community during the pandemic. So Justin Lesnick, thank you so yeah. much for being with us here as an Amuna change maker. Thanks for having me. So let's just get right into this. Um, tell us a little bit about how you got into the grocery world. All right. Well, I started in the grocery business when I was a kid, 17 years old. Um, I fell in love with it immediately. I obviously like working with people, like working with customers, like getting involved in the community. So I did that for a few years when I was a kid. I realized it's something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I worked with No Frills and I had the opportunity to work with them in their training program and franchise development. And when I was 25 years old, I had an opportunity to franchise a store out in Cornwall near, near Montreal. So had a great experience there, met lots of great people. It was a fantastic store, fantastic team, got involved in the community. And then uh, five years later, had an opportunity to move back closer to home in, uh, in Whippy, where we grew up. So my wife and family and I uh, moved back, had a store in Whippy for four years. Again, fantastic experience. And then obviously uh, brought me to the next opportunity. Probably the best opportunity of my life was to bring me to Thornhill to no frills at Bathurst and Center Street. So came there a few years ago and uh, had a great time. And then obviously uh, left no frills, went and worked with Savers for a year, um, still helped them out. And obviously now I'm with Freshco Bathurst and Steels back in the Jewish community. Yeah, so just tell us a little bit about the values that what it means to you to be working in the grocery world, the way you've been talking about community uh, the connections that you've been making. So what does it represent for you, that world? Well, well, for, for me, it's like, it's funny because, you know, you're running a grocery store, but I don't think, I don't look at it like that. I look at just, um, you know, I have a responsibility to my staff and ultimately my customers and community. And, you know, that's something I take very seriously. I take, um, it means a lot to me. I think it's a huge responsibility to make sure that I'm providing my staff, you know, a safe and uh, healthy and happy place to work. And ultimately, in turn, um, you know, they're, they're able to provide that same experience for our customers. And being able to be in a position um, to be able to give back to the community we do business in is pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty crazy just looking historically at, you know, what a grocery store represents and thinking about that from other eras of time, when the idea of just all food from all places at all times is in this one building. For you to pick up i mean obviously there were markets and things like that but it's clearly changing with the modern world in ways that people could not comprehend in the past it is and you know for, for me it's about making it more than just a grocery store you know you i think get a, a lot of comments like you know where do you find a grocery store where you can you know talk to the owner directly or or message him on facebook or instagram or message him at you know all hours of the night for uh, for an answer, but you know for for me it's something that I love. I think it's um, I think it's important to be connected, and I think it's important to be reachable. Um, and it's it, to me it's not just a grocery store. It's like a, it's a community, right? It's um, it, it's more than just yeah, it's more than just a store. For sure, and you've devoted considerable amounts of your career capital and energy towards helping the Jewish community have more accessible access to kosher food. In your bio on the uh, Changemakers website, you said, quote, after learning what it meant to be kosher, I made it my personal mission to do everything possible to lower the price of kosher food. So my question for you is, what did you learn and how did it impact you so deeply? Um, well, when I, came to, uh, when I came to Thornhill, I didn't know anything about kosher. 
Um, I didn't know really what it was. And I'll never forget walking into the store and I pretty much walked right up to the kosher dairy counter and I saw some yogurt that was like six or seven dollars that in my opinion should have been like a dollar or two. And I was quickly informed that this was because it was kosher. So I didn't really understand. Um, I said, it's yogurt's yogurt. I mean, like, you know, my yogurt that I buy is a dollar. There's no reason this should be five dollars. So I think um, what I realized very quickly is that obviously the majority of my customers were kosher or kept kosher and kosher food um, obviously isn't easily accessible and it's not available everywhere. And that's something that a non-kosher customer like myself obviously took for granted. I would never even imagine not being able to have full access to food and competitive prices everywhere. So that's something that Jewish customers, you know, don't have the privilege, the same privilege that a non-kosher customer like myself would have. So when I started learning about the pricing and I started learning about, you know, the, the our competitors and what they offer and the pricing that they were offering, I realized very quickly that there was a huge opportunity to offer these items at significantly lower prices because I didn't feel that the pricing was fair. Um, and I like to think that we were able to, you know, positively impact and um, influence, I think, a lot of kosher retailers over the past few years to significantly reduce pricing. And uh, that's kind of something that I'm really proud about, proud of that. Um, and I think we were able to make a, a, a significant um, impact on the community's, uh, you know, accessibility to affordable kosher products. Yeah, well, like so much so that my wife's only shopping at uh, No Frills. Um, yeah, well, we, we listen, No Frills was, uh, you know, we built, we built a powerhouse. Yeah. And now it's uh, now, obviously, I have the task of, you know, bringing the same thing to Freshco. And, you know, yeah, that's uh, something I look forward to. And we're making lots of changes. What is the most meaningful thing someone said to you on behalf of the work you have done in our community? Is there a particular story that stands out to you? What I can say about uh, this community is, you know, the community is very, very quick uh, to give praise and give thanks. And I think that's what really fuels me to keep going. Um, I've never had, uh, I've never worked with a community that's so thankful, that's so appreciative. Um, and I think there is uh, one example that really stands out and it actually just happened a few months ago. I had just started at Freshco and uh, a lady came up to me and introduced herself as one of my old customers from No Frills a few years back. And she had, um, she had said that there's, there's something that I did a few years ago. Um, yeah, for, I made a charitable uh, contribution and something I did um, made a, a significant positive impact on her family's life. And um, she'll never forget what I had done. And because of that, um, I will have her support. And she said that I probably don't realize the amount of positive impacts I've made on so many people's lives. And that's why you're going to start seeing so many people supporting you here at Freshco. And um, it's something I'll never forget. It brought me to tears, happy tears. Um, it's something that made me very emotional and, um, I'll never forget it. And that's, yeah, that's what fuels me to keep going. It's, um, you know, you get up every day and it's, you try and do something nice for somebody every day. It could be the smallest thing. You know, I, I tell our staff as well, like, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of saying hi to someone. It's about talking to people that, you know, may not have an opportunity to have a conversation with someone. A lot of our customers come to the store and we may be the only interaction they have with another human being all day. Right. Yeah. And, you know, to give them some time and, and listen to them and talk to them, um, you know, help them out, maybe take their groceries to their car, the tiniest little things, you know, let them know, give them a call at home when a certain product comes in. But, you know, anything you can do to make a positive impact on someone, I think, um, you know, makes you it makes you feel really good. Yeah. And so we're moving into just a little bit about COVID now. So I want to understand a couple of things. You've been obviously nominated as a change maker during this time. I want to understand how COVID has changed your perspective about your work, your life in general, and especially at the grocery store. How have things changed for you and how have you made an impact during this time? Yeah, um, I, I think obviously COVID has made a big impact on just how um, we do business in general, how everybody does business in general. Um, for me personally, COVID has been a, a great time to reflect, um, a great time to reflect on what's really important. Um, and that's, I think, you know, for, for me, it's, it's, it's family and health. Um, and when it, when it comes to the store and it comes to the, the business and, and, you know, our team, our staff, um, you know, that, that health and that family thing, it, it still kind of resonates. Like, you know, our, our main, main consideration right now is, is taking care of our staff. 
making sure we have a, a very safe and healthy place for the staff to work. They're risking their lives. You know, I'm so proud of them. Like a lot of, you know, even young staff are there every day and they don't have to be. So making sure that we're doing everything we possibly can to make sure that it's a safe environment for the staff and ultimately a safe environment for the customers. Um, that's kind of the big, the big focus for us right now, just everybody's health and safety. Uh, in regards to other things that we're doing, I mean, we're not really doing anything different. We're, you know, supporting the community, really focusing on food banks, obviously, during COVID. Um, a lot of people are financially disadvantaged. So we're really trying to, you know, focus on obviously food that's, you know, relatively, I would say, easy for me to do. Um, um, so supporting, you know, Hasa Kaduri has been fantastic as well. Um, and then behind the scenes, we've helped out some small little local businesses independently that have been struggling and just, you know, doing the tiniest things that could help them out, right? So... Yeah, I just I, I just see the synergy between you know the 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 synergy that you have between your personality, yourself, your work, your family. You're guided by the same values throughout all of that, and I can really see see it. And I'm just am grateful for the work that you've been doing, and wishing you the best of luck with this new opportunity with Freshco. And I hope that uh, a lot of the inroads that you've made at No Frills can be can be had there. And we're just so thankful for you and for all of the work that you've done. Yeah, no, I'm very appreciative to the entire community. You know, I'm appreciative to Amuna for this, uh, for this honor that, you know, I didn't, I didn't expect it, but I appreciate it. I know, um, you know, all the positive impact that Amuna makes in the lives of others, especially the disadvantaged. And it aligns with, you know, with everything that I like to stand for. And, you know, I just, yeah, I just, yeah, we really want to just, you know, try to make a positive impact on as many people as possible. And I think that's something that everybody should be doing every day, right? Thank you so much for being an Amuna change maker. Justin, no thank worries, you so much. Okay. Thanks All so the much, best eh? to you. Be in touch. Yeah.